Hey, it's Spencer. Welcome and thank you for tuning in to the Fire Mountain YouTube channel. Uh, today is April 26, 2019, and I am doing a solo bow hunting turkey hunt. Turkey season has been upon us since about the uh, beginning of April, end of May, and now it's uh, the end of April, and uh, it's my first time getting out there um, after some turkey, so I'm very excited. So essentially, the two types of hunting that I'll be doing today um, is passive hunting, where I sit, you know, on the ground and call a turkey into me. Um, I'll be using a, a slate call to make a female turkey sound that will draw the um, the male into me, and then I'll be able to shoot it. Then I'll also be doing another type of hunting called a spot and stalk, which is super classic out here in the uh, the Northwest. Essentially, it's just chasing after a bird, finding one and shooting it. It's it's the hard way. It's the classic way, and um, it's definitely the fun way. So I'll try a different couple couple different options out, see which one works. Um, but essentially this is kind of a, a fun little trip I'll be planting a trail cam and doing a little turkey hunting and I'll also be I brought a couple of targets for my bow and I'll do be doing some archery practice as well so I sang along. How's it going? I finally got to my spot. Um, here we are. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. No clouds, plenty of mosquitoes. I'm gonna shoot a couple arrows and kind of see how um, my shots are landing, make sure I'm on target today. And uh, they don't get to call in and I'm, I'm keeping an ear out to hear of any turkey gobbles, chuckles, any calls. Um, so that I can be alerted um, and kind of know where they're at. The last time I saw one, last time I saw a turkey, I was leaving. And the turkey is about halfway up that hill, right where that um, white and orange sign is. And I didn't have my turkey tag. I forgot, I mean, I, I chose not to get it because I didn't think I was going to see any turkeys. And lo and behold, a beautiful, uh, Beautiful. I think it was just a young Jake up there, and he was he was gobbling away. He probably wanted me to kill him, but hey, didn't have my tag, so I couldn't, you know. So, yeah. Practice shooting. I'm not going to be shooting a bird further than 20 or 30 yards, so just had to make sure they're on point, and I'm happy with the way they're flying. Now, for hunting. At the top of the ridge, I'm gonna start hitting a little call. So this is my call right here. It's the Egg and Hail Stranglehold Slate Turkey Call. So I had to scratch it up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. And then I have my dowel, and I will show you guys how it works. Here, turkey, 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 turkey. Are they coming? Here, turkey, turkey. Okay, here it goes. Probably don't need to do two in a row like that. Just in the water, seeing what's out here. I heard that just a single scratch can help too. Hmm. 
there she goes so this is my uh, first stop um, been hiking for about 20 20 20 minutes now and uh, yeah the first part of the climb is straight up a hill or two hills actually so um, the hard part is over and uh, now it's a lot of flat going downhill and then a little more uphill across a river plant the trail cam shoot a turkey go home that's the plan let's see how it works out <laughs> Here we are. What an absolutely beautiful stream. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this is at big capacity. Maybe eat a couple of mint leaves. I don't know what you're looking at in the wild. These are mint leaves right here. It's a mint mint plant and you know. You can just smell it, make sure, make sure, you, you know, it's, it's a mint. And then you do this. But mm. when I was about to cross, I found a, uh, an orange-backed, red-backed salamander. And I'm going to put the GoPro underwater and give you guys a better look. Update, update. Um, well, I was just going to set up this trail cam uh, right there facing towards the camera currently <clears throat> I heard a beautiful turkey gobble about 30 yards directly that way and so I shot out there waited for about 10 minutes didn't call at all and then after 15 minutes I started moving very slowly behind a little thicket of trees um, and you know didn't hear him gobble didn't hear nothing i um, was trying to do spot and stalk because i didn't want to call because i suck at calling and then i i broke out of the bush quietly and <clears throat> then i hit a couple of calls no response so you know i could have been more would not be surprised if it was the first deer kill i had right here so i'm excited well i'm gonna put up the trail cam. So I'm going to go over a couple um, tips and tricks and uh, the basic way to set up a trail cam. Um, the things you're going to need are a compass, your trail cam itself, eight AA batteries, um, and a strap that usually comes with your trail cam. So the first thing you want to do is locate a tree that your strap can fit around. Most of the trees in this area can can, uh, this strap can fit around it, but some of them are even too small or too big. So this one's perfect size. Um, another thing is you want to find a pasture, a clearing. Um, this clearing right here, as you can see, is absolutely beautiful. It has open area. Um, it has actually an already established pathway for deer, turkey, and whatever animals come through here. So definitely find an area that has already an established pathway and a lot of green, green grass. Um, shade is always good because animals like to bed in the shade. Who likes to be hot in the middle of the afternoon? Not me, definitely not some deer. So the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to set up your trail cam. Now there's going to be instructions that come with your trail cam. Follow those. So here's my trail cam setup. A key to setting up a trail cam is to position your trail cam facing north or south because when the east when the sun rises in the east or sets in the west it'll create shadows and you know flashes that will set off the trail camera and give you false triggers these false triggers over every day and every night will waste on your battery and you're not going to catch as many deer turkeys or whatever you're looking through coming through your area so face north or face south another thing is usually trees they aren't always straight. They're either angled a little bit left, a little bit right, or even a little bit crooked. So what happens is your trail cam is going to be facing not exactly the way you want it to be facing. The way to fix this is to just tighten your trail cam to the tree and then get a couple branches, twigs, sticks, whatever your heart desires to put underneath the bottom of the trail cam 
or the top of the trail cam, depending on which way the angle is incorrect. Parallel to the ground, um, and it's facing straight outwards, right where the deer are going to walk by. The deer are going to be walking from over there to this way, or over there to this way. They can't walk side to side, and my trail cam is uh, facing perpend. My camera for the trail cam is facing perpendicular to their trail. Boom! Trails this way. I'm looking this way. So it's really exactly what you want. It's a perfect setup. One of the things after you set up your trail cam, you're going to want to look at the trail cam's view and get any sticks, twigs, or brushes out of that uh, view as best as you can. Um, leave a little bit of foliage because other hunters will come by and possibly steal your trail cam, even regular hikers. So you really don't want anybody to take your trail cam. So the best way to do this is just disguise well, it. Perfect may not be the best word, but it sure is damn okay to me. And, you know, this trail cam is going to get a lot of action this year. I can feel it already. So I'm very excited. And I can't wait to show you guys the results of this trail cam footage. That'll come at a later date, probably three or four months from now. <sighs> I could surmise that eating your roommate's pizza right next to where you planted your trail cam isn't the best idea. Oh, yeah, also. Shout out to Carlo for the pyology. You left it in the room, bro, so I had to eat it. I ain't gonna let it go to waste. I, I don't think you'll care. Um, but yeah, I'm eating it right next to the trail cam. Had to get out of the way. Would have ate it right in front of it. You caught me eating pizza on the trail cam. Jeez. That'd been one hell of a fine. Please, let me know in the comments below. Is eating pizza and ranch dressing by your trail cam placement in deer pathways a good or bad idea or does it not matter at all comment below oh well it was a very eventful day had a great time coming out here in the beautiful grass valley now do we have a turkey waiting for us last time i came here like i said straight up that hill there was a turkey about halfway up, and gosh darn it, I would pay good money for a turkey to be there right now. I've got a good shot, a bow, and a license, and a tag. So, it would absolutely make my day, but it doesn't look like there is one, so I'll get them next time. Well, guys. Thanks for uh, tuning in to another Fire Mountain video. And I hope you guys had a good time watching it and you learned a couple things. This is Spencer, signing off.